It's finally happening. The subfloor is going back in. What's up everybody? It's Ian here with Miller Garage and we are starting to get the plywood ready to go back in so we can get the shell back down to the frame. I am super excited to be at this stage. I've been like ready for this for some time now. <laughs> And now that we are, uh, that we have the coffee shop that's wanting to buy the Airstream and that we're going to be converting it into a coffee shop, then uh, we're, you know, we're accelerating everything. And on top of that, it also is making the, just the process of putting the subfloor back in a little bit more straightforward since we don't have to worry about the tanks and any of that kind of stuff down underneath. So we are getting the wood ready. Um, I have... This is 1930 seconds BC sanded plywood. Um, I got it at Home Depot and um, it's, I'm kind of trying to find that balance between, you know, initially I was looking at the, the COSA composite board, which is, it would have been like, like $3,500, which is why we're not going that route. Um, and it probably would have outlasted every other aspect of the frame. Uh, and the shell and the airstream in general. So it was, seemed like just a little bit of overkill. Um, but we're gonna be using uh, this plywood and this stuff fits all the new C-channel well. Um, I have pretty much 100% all new C-channel. Uh, this is the rear bow for the, um, in the back there. That one was completely rotted out where uh, there's like that angled piece of steel that attaches the frame and it goes underneath this uh, that thing had been was completely rusted. It was the uh, this part was all corroded out. Um, it wasn't holding on really at all. It was just completely loose. And uh, where all of the outriggers were, um, it was all damaged and bent up and all that stuff. So um, we have a new one of these and all of the straight C channel. I got all new parts from Airstream. Um, you can still get all those. So if that's something you need, and they're really not ex that expensive. I think uh, for all of it. I think I spent 250 with shipping. So since that's like what holds the Airstream together, why not get new pieces? So um, we're gonna start laying this out and measuring it uh, and getting it cut and sides and everything. And uh, we're gonna cut it, test fit it. And then once we have all of the uh, plywood cut, I'm gonna be coating it in a marine, a two-part marine epoxy and that's going to fully seal it to where you know it's going to be weather resistant this stuff is already uh, a pressure treated i believe uh yeah um weather resistant this is like an exterior grade so um, it's already got good uh, sealant and protection but we're going to make it even better by adding the marine epoxy so we're going to get rolling on this so I got it lined up on the back side, and then I'm just going to measure just to make sure um, that it's square. 15 and a half. And it's not quite, so. Squared up on the back there. So I got it laid out on there and all squared up. I'm going to trace around it and then obviously I'm going to have to uh, probably cut a little bit to the inside of the line and then, um, you know, just sand it and adjust it to fit inside. Um, you know, I'm not trying to get it absolutely dead on initially.
So it is officially summer in Texas. It's June 3rd and it is starting to get really hot. I can't wait to have an air conditioned shop for I can work in. It's gonna be nice, but we're not quite there yet. All right, so we got it marked now. I'm gonna get out the saws and get to cutting. So we got it all cut out. Now we're gonna see if it fits and if we need to do any trimming. Well, that is pretty good, but I can't see how far it goes into the channel. So I'm gonna mark around here and then just make sure that it's going in far enough. So it definitely looks good. I think uh, there's some places I want to kind of sand it or it's a little uneven just to get a really flush fit. Um, but other than that, it fits really good in there. So. And it fits great. So. I'm not 100% sure if the curve is exactly the same on the back as the front, so I'm going to take this piece of plywood and fit it up in the front on that bow and see how it fits and um, if it is pretty much the same, uh, which I think it obviously will be, but I just want to make sure. Then we're going to make another one and once we get those made, um, I'll probably epoxy these two pieces. Uh, the plan is to get the shell on this coming weekend. It's Monday. So throughout the week, I'm going to be uh, cutting and epoxying these. I don't have the space to do it, do it all at once. So I'm going to have to um, kind of do them throughout the week to get them all coated and sealed and everything and ready to go in. Oh my gosh, there's a piece of wood in here. <laughs> this is going to look crazy whenever it's not just, you know, a frame. I'm not going to know what to do with myself whenever I can walk around in here without the constant fear of falling to my doom uh, <laughs> through the frame. So let's see how this fits. Uh, looks to be lining up pretty good. I'm going to get up underneath it and lift it up into the shell and see, uh, see how it looks from there. Close, I got some plywood up underneath there. See if we can get it to line up. So it looks like the curve is slightly different in the front from the back, um, that piece, and maybe it's just the, with the new piece, it has just a slightly different curve. Um, it shouldn't affect anything, but not a huge deal. I just need to put that up into place and then uh, mark it on the inside. Uh, and then I can basically uh, measure, trace this one and kind of eyeball it. This, it doesn't have to be perfect because the C channel just sits on top of it. Um, it just needs to be sure that it's inside the aluminum, but you know, enough around there to where it bites. Uh, on the bolts and everything. So uh, I'm going to mark that and then we're going to pull it out and uh, cut, the, cut the second piece.
So based off the outline that I traced onto that piece of wood, I made a paper template um, for the front section. And uh, so I got it set on here and I marked it. And now I'm gonna pull it off and we're gonna cut it. I'm gonna put this on the other side and just flip it, maybe. Now that we have the pieces cut and all sanded and cleaned up, the next thing is we're going to put the marine epoxy on it to seal it in. Um, so I'm using Total Boat High Performance 2 in 1 epoxy resin. Uh, so you have the resin and the hardener, and you mix them into this handy little bucket here, and stir it up real good, and then you paint it on. And with this one, this is the medium hardener one and it has about a 25 minute uh, dry time basically so that means you have to apply it <laughs> once you mix it within 25 minutes and so I already did one board that's in the garage so now I'm going to do this one so I'm kind of trying to go quickly so that it this you know the brush and everything doesn't harden up before I finish and it's Texas and I'm looking behind the camera and now there's dark clouds, so I don't know if rain is coming. I didn't think it was supposed to rain at all today. I checked the forecast, but again, it's Texas. So we're gonna get going. So we mixed the two, and I found on the other one that doing 45 pumps of each will cover the whole thing. Okay, so we got it, and then we mix it up real good. Yeah, that's thunder. Lovely. Okay. Well, looks like it's still far enough away that maybe we won't have any rain quite yet. Just gonna... Okay. We're not only racing the cure time, but we're racing the weather. Un. So then you just apply it liberally. You want to get it nice and thick on there. You also want to be sure that you get the edges um, because that's actually a really easy place for water to get in, especially when it's if it leaks down the side, it'll go right into the, the edge where it's sitting in the C-channel or if it's coming in from the outside. So. Right, and there it is. So now it just has to cure. And with this one, it takes like three days to fully cure and be ready to go. So um, since it's Monday, that gives me plenty of time to get all these finished before the weekend. Uh, plan to cut and do the rest of all of the subfloor uh, probably tomorrow is my game plan. And so we're gonna get all that finished up and Things gonna be ready to start going back together. We, as you can see, we got quite a few of the windows in. I think uh, just mainly the front windows um, and that one right there aren't in yet, but everything else, and it is starting to rain. So I need to move the camera. So <laughs> thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next week.